everyone and welcome back to my channel Anna's Kitchen. So I hope everyone's doing well and having a wonderful day so far. It's a beautiful sunny day today and I'm trying to stay hydrated. It's a bit on the humid side. So today our kids requested um, a very simple pasta and chicken dish which I'm about to start. I'll um, display all of the ingredients and <clears throat> you'll see step by step how I'm going about in doing so. It's a, a very basic uh, pasta. The kids like the Selantani pasta, which is the curly pasta. I'm going to do with uh, chicken breast and uh, broccoli and carrots. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that's gonna go into my pasta dish. This is two and a half to three pounds of chicken breast, which I washed, cut up and seasoned with some green seasoning, salt, pepper, lemon pepper, um, sazon, which gives, it, uh, which gives it a beautiful color, a little dry thyme, and I have parsley, and scallions here or sive the green part and then i chopped up some more over here the scallions and some onion i have carrots here and i have the broccoli so the kids as i mentioned before likes the salantani uh pasta which holds it's a very good pasta which holds like um you know when you cook the meat it lets out its own juice it holds the gravy and a good sauce like in between the crevices here. All right, so I have my water, which is was boiling actually before, and I put it on low heat. And now I'm gonna throw in the pasta. And I'm using a wide pot because when I cook pasta, um, you know, it yields as it starts to boil. And also for this particular dish, now I'm gonna add in some salt also. So guys, again, for this particular dish, and again, I'm just averaging, sorry, and adding in a little salt. Because the pasta is very bland and you want it to uh, have some flavor while it starts to cook. Okay, and the reason again, as I was just saying, why I'm using a big pot, because for this dish, I am going to add in the broccoli as well as the carrots, because both these vegetables are a bit on the harder side and tough, tougher like uh, to soften. So when the pasta is almost to finish, which this pasta takes like maybe 12 to 14 minutes to cook al dente, I am going to um, add the vegetable in and then let it steam somewhat. So when I add the pasta into the cooked chicken, um, you know, it, it will already have been cooked. All right, so stay tuned, guys. Okay, folks, so in a little oil, I threw in the onions and the scythe to start to sweat a little or um, caramelize, and the onion is getting nice and brown. So the flavor would come out and also flavor the oil. I think this looks good there. And I'm going to throw in the chicken. And then get that nice sizzle sound again. Make sure everything is coated with the onions and the thighs that will cook there. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to have a good stir. I'm going to cover and let it start to let out its own liquid. And then I'll add in the cooked pasta, which has been drained. And I'm going to add in um, the parsley and the rest of this chopped thigh as garnish. All right. Okay, so this is the meat that has been cooking for the past, I would say like 10 minutes or so. 
So you see it has a nice color already here, but you can also use, so I use the Chief brand Chinese sauce, which gives it a, a very nice color as well as flavor. So I'm just throwing a little in. So you see automatically now of course because of the sauce the color has changed it's gotten a little darker so when i throw in the pasta now this is going to coat all around the pasta and give it that delicious flavor okay guys so the meat has cooked down in his own juices here, add a little water also before. And I have the cooked pasta with the broccoli and carrots that means drained. And I'm adding it in now. Into the chicken. So I'm gonna give this a good stir and make sure everything's well incorporated. I'm going to garnish with the sag and parsley that I have here. And I'll show the finished product. Okay, so, see? Beautiful color of the chicken. Yeah, so this is ready now. I'm going to make a plate. I'll show you guys how this meal looks. Okay guys, so here are the hard workers now home from work and they are my taste testers officially. So again, I am not eating meat as yet. We have Alana and her dad. So go ahead, Alana, dig in, Ricky. In the words of these millennials, sheesh, this thing lashing. <laughs> Good, right? real Anna? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Thank okay. you again yes, for welcome. another wonderful dinner. Indeed. Okay. Nice. All right, guys. And don't forget to eat your broccoli. And some carrots. Mm -hmm. And we okay. have a, a few clips, guys, from um, for uh, another video that I made um, with making some pylori and stuff. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that also. That's okay there. It looks, like, it looks like I don't know what you're doing, <laughs> doing there now. That's how you know it's good. Okay. Thank you. All so right, much. guys. So um, once again, to all of our viewers, and subscribers thank you so much for all of the love and support and um for all those who have not as yet please like subscribe and share we have breakfast here for this little king good morning everyone yeah hi hi so what are you having for breakfast i'm having a confetti pancake with the regular one and sunny side eggs yeah, that's your favorite sunny side eggs with everything bagel seasoning this little boy has an acquired taste. So you're excited for your swimming classes today and to see Grace? Yes. Yeah, We're going to make so some pylori for her, right? Yeah. All right, great. And he's having a cup of milk. These are all extra pancakes, okay? He's not eating all of that. Mm -hmm. That's for maybe Alana and whoever wants to eat. And meanwhile, this is the pylori I mixed. So as you can see, I'm in the kitchen um, by myself doing my camera tasking. So I uh, use three cups of flour, a packet of yeast, um, some turmeric or saffron, saffron, a little whole grain jira, a little bit of my grind seasoning. And again, I, I say a little bit because I don't measure. I just average and put in. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, some grind seasoning, some salt, a pinch of salt, and I mix this with warm water, lukewarm water, because it has to start to um 
to get very active and, and raise the pylori. So it already has risen a little bit. I, I mixed this pylori like um, 20 minutes ago and it has already started to, to rise. So I'll give it like maybe an hour or more. I'm going to cover it again. I took off the lid. I'm going to cover it back again. And you really need when you're mixing pylori, especially, or any type of um, bread or so forth, you need like a, a big vessel, a big basin or whatever, because when it rises, you know, with the, the yeast, the rising agent, you want for it to be all the way to the top so it doesn't make a mess. So anyway, I'm going to cover this back up. And all of these around, like here, that's fine if you find it when you mix it's a bit messy. That's in the day's job of mixing it. When it rises to the top, it is um, it's all going to be incorporated and mixed to fry. All right, guys, so join me back soon. Okay, everyone, so... I'm going to make a blended mango chutney. I just went to um, the supermarket and I picked up a green mango. So I have the green mango cut up already. I have some shadow benny or bandania, some sive or scallions. I have eight cloves of garlic and some pepper. And I'm gonna add some salt um, to taste. And this again is a blended version. Now you can also do the boiled one, but I am doing the blended one today. And look at the pylori. So earlier, you guys saw when I um, whipped the mixture together. And it has risen almost to the top of the, the basin, which is a good sign. So once you know it has risen like this, the yeast was very active. All right, so I have my oil on a medium heat and then I'll lower it down because once I start frying the pylori you don't want it to get too brown out and then it's going to be raw inside all right so uh stay tuned to see the finished product guys okay guys so as you saw before the pylori had risen really nice I'm going to start frying and I use the squeeze method the method also as you probably have seen before in Rocky's video so and I made um, the mango chutney which is right here the blended mango chutney and you can always store it in a mason jar and put it in the refrigerator it, this can stay like two weeks uh, give and take so this is gonna go with the glory again so see how nice they're raising when I drop it in the oil when you drop the glory in the oil you don't turn it it raises um, it rises up to, its, to the top for itself. And that's when you know it's like, it's gonna be airy. I did not make this pylori with any grind dal. You can also add grind dal in it, but I didn't. This is flower pylori. My brother Rocky likes flower pylori. And don't worry, Bobby, when I come to Florida, I got you, I'm gonna hook you up. Okay, guys. Okay, so the pylori looks good. As you see again, they have all risen to the top. And I have it on a medium to low heat. We have to cook through thoroughly. So I'd like to say a special thank you and shout out to the girls from Food Universe at uh, 111 Avenue and 127th Street, the supermarket. Doreen and the staff there, the girls, they're always very friendly and efficient in helping us. So thank you very much. And I promised them some of these Polaris. So I'm on Polori duty today. Grace and Doreen and the girls at Food Universe. I'm hooking you guys up with some Polori. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so look who I have here. Hi, Hi Alana. Hi. All right, so Alana is gonna be my uh, taste tester right now for these pylories. Okay. okay, Lana. Get a good fat one. A fat one? A fat one. <laughs> so as you guys see, I don't make the pylories. I don't make my pylories very small. And see how nice and it's not oily. And 
here's the review. Mm. I take okay. that as a good sign. <laughs> it's scrum deliciousness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And I have the girls, their little mango chutney. I have the containers all ready to go. So we'll see you guys soon, Grace, Doreen, and staff at Food Universe. You got a thumbs up from Alana with the Peloria. I hope you guys enjoyed also. All right, Lana. Excited for Alana? Yeah. yeah. What do you want to say to her? I want to say congratulations, congratulations. right? Proud mm -hmm. dad, what do you want to say to Alana? Well, I want to congratulate you on meeting this milestone. And now it's time to move on and make some money and buy me a Lamborghini. <laughs> okay, great expectations here. Congratulations, Alana. Can't wait to see you walk on.